yesterday. Yes. We went. We had a look at Harlequins, mm-hmm. and we had a look at the arcade on Fourth Street. Yep. Uh, because all this student accommodation coming along, I think Chris is here. Is he really? I think he's behind you. But we'll say this very quickly, mm-hmm. and then we'll, then we'll let him in. Mm-hmm. Because uh, he's got views on this as well. Yes. Just Exeter seems just to become in a massive um, dormitory. Uh, that's what I think is yeah, getting towards where Exeter is going to change. Whether it's for the better, I don't know. Because it's going to be inundated with those people from the students. But I suppose that's going to be the norm. But uh, we do we need to do a lot more research to find out how it's been funded in the long run to give us a, a, a an overall view. And I knew about the famous little pub. What's that one called? Honiton. Honiton. Uh, the whole Honiton. Hon- 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 that's it. Yes, yeah, so I always remember that one. Getting off the bus and seeing that, I said, you know, Jay- I, I said, I said to myself, it make make good student accommodation. <laughs> JD, Chris is Chris is is just just knocking at the door. What what occurs to me is that the. The, the reason the students might want to live in Exeter is for all the interesting things that exist in the city centre. Mm-hmm. But when the shops and the pubs and the cafes are all being demolished mm-hmm. to make way for the accommodation, you have to wonder what's, what's left of it. Mm-hmm. Do you think Student that's... Student accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, um, well, Chris, you, you noticed the Honiton Inn was on its way yeah I did and you've got photographs yeah a photo a photograph but we also went down to the the arcade on 4th street yeah and um we we had we had a good look at that and it in the, so the cafe is gone from that and that was a very good cafe uh very good very good value well that's just moved hasn't it so yeah it's, yeah, it's moved it's not disappeared mm, no but but, it, but if you go if you go anywhere, I, I, every week I, I read there's a shop closing or there's a cafe closing, and so we just don't know where it's going. You know, we're going to introduce all these people. Uh, how they're going to get their coffee in there <laughs> and they're shopping? They're going to have to go outside the city again. So it's well, that where, would be, where, but that would be very strange. What you mean? All the all the shops are going to be on a roundabout somewhere. <laughs> and the, the students are going to be living in, in the city centre. In roundabout. <laughs> um, but they're having to go somewhere else they're shopping. Yes, well, that's what, that's what I think. So you're, you're pushing out the good so, uh, shops to the outskirts. Yeah. So you, they have to get a bus and go out. So I don't see the point in the whole thing, really. It should be, should be more put into the centre of the city and sustain, you know, something there. Well, the other thing is, in the in the in that arcade, even now we saw uh, comics and final and think you know just various things that you you wouldn't find in mainstream shops necessarily. A mobile phone repair shop. That's true. Mm-hmm. Which is one imp- down there. Yeah, but the, you see, then then again, you see, there's two shops closing there. So, where do where do you you know? Who's bringing in the shopping facilities into Exeter? Well, they're, they're not. They're, nobody is. Is it? I mean, the the, tra- the chains are shutting down, and the local ones can't afford the space because the student accommodation. Hmm. Yeah. The the other thing I, d- I don't don't understand is is how much debt is involved in it all. It just seems to be a amount. How how are you doing, Chris? On. <laughs> I'm moving microphone. Okay. This you want to be on four? No, I don't. I want to be on three. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. I'll I move just that one up thought the way. it was in a bit of a muddle. Well, it is. Yeah. Okay. So that's just now the studio. It's <laughs> I'll sort it out in a minute. <laughs> well, look, we'll come back to it all later, but mm. it just seems to me that the the um the whole. It's just a boom phase at the moment, but I think mm. there might be a bust phase, and I think Exeter could be quite exposed. Because um, if this sort of thing goes on in Bristol or Manchester, it can get lost amongst everything else, but it just seems to be all that's going on, really, at the moment. Yeah, if there's something to replace it, that's fine. But there isn't. You know, you, you, <laughs> you, just, you just come one week and it's in the news and it says it's owned by... 
the student accommodation department, whatever it is. Yeah. And um, but there's nothing to replace it. No, or, or restaurants. It can be coffee shop <laughs> restaurants <laughs> yes. or student accommodation. 